Hi everyone, back again. I've got this uh, same setup I'm working with, uh, the 48 LEDs, and uh, got them a bit brighter this time. Um, I've raised the voltage a little bit, uh, so still I wanted to keep it around 30 milliamps, um, but uh, instead of 12 volts, we're looking at uh, 22. Um, so I wanted to show something that I found interesting. Um, Dr. Stifler was saying that if you've got proper coherence, uh, that um, except for you know grounding it right out, uh, you shouldn't see much change when you uh, when you touch the uh, the what the output. So you can see here that. Uh, we get uh, no change. I added this uh, piece of aluminum because this black wire itself was not uh, enough to balance the impedance, as he says. So I added that piece of uh, piece of metal, and uh, now I get no change on the lights. So uh, okay, so that's one thing. But I also wanted to clarify that. Um, We've got uh, a little less power on this side. So without putting the whole thing out, because it kind of gets tripped with uh, proximity. So we've got uh, the lights here. And I'm going to try to approach and get a certain distance from it. Okay. So it's about that close. Okay. So now we'll go over to this side. Try to get the same distance to it. We'll go back to the transmitter. Pulling it a bit closer this time. Okay. It does affect the output when I get too close. Watch the light. See that? So it does totally affect uh, the, the you know proximity around it totally affects it uh, which is another characteristic of the uh, of the SEC. But anyway I'll get uh, about the same distance. Massive difference. Just a huge difference. So that's why I was saying that uh, for some reason there's less energy here than there is at the receiver. And uh, I haven't been able to light the bulbs off the transmitter but I have been able to obviously light them on the receiver um, and uh, possibly it's not the right thing to do but if I actually take the uh, service building ground here uh, we get uh, a pretty good increase I'm not sure if we're supposed to ground it though, but that drives them past what they're supposed to, and uh, you only get 10 extra milliamp draw.
off on so I think maybe if I balance it with capacitance uh, between the ground and the load that uh, I can get this light without any other increase but uh, what convinces me that we're kind of on the right track here is um, when when you have no sort of wire on the uh, to balance the output you still get awesome light and that's a really delicate spot uh, really sensitive threshold where even changing the voltage uh, will put the lights out and I've got to kind of flick it off and back on to get the circuit to uh, start running again uh, so it's a really really tricky spot but um, I think this is what <laughs> the doctor ordered so now we'll add the uh, impedance balancing wire and watch the lights uh, get affected or not so a little bit eh? but it's not grounded so now if I touch the uh, plate we don't get much fluctuation which is what you want to have grounding it obviously will uh, I lost my wire but anyway uh, we're not supposed to ground it I don't think because that would close the system it needs to be left to freely oscillate and uh, if it was acting as an antenna I would give it signal but it puts it out so this ringing on this tower here has got something big time to do with the output and I'm not able to get that intensity on the transmitter only the receiver I'm going to show you this again. Get close. So now I'll go over here. So, who knows if that's uh, important? I think it is. Talk to you guys later.